I like to start my day reading from my spiritual journal. I find that it sets the tone and helps me to remember to be a good person and if I'm a good person then it will help my kids learn to be good people too. I allow the girls to sleep in as long as they need so that they wake up refreshed and ready for a great day of learning. The very first thing we do after the girls are up is come and check our bunnies. We make sure they have fresh water and we make sure they have enough food. How are you guys doing? Everybody looks happy and healthy. While the girls get breakfast, I uh, take care of chores, I do dishes. This is my breakfast. I wash the floor, I do the laundry, I feed the dogs. While the kids are eating is the time that I get things set up for our school day. I get all the things that I um, that I have planned for us to do. I set everything up and get organized. And as soon as they're done eating, they come and join me. After breakfast starts the uh, computer part of our day. She's got the computer. She's got her headphones, she's got her comfy blanket, she's got her fidget spinner, she's got her water, and she has her trusted horse watching <laughs> over to make sure she's doing a good job, huh? Yeah, that's Rocky. So the very first thing that the girls do when they get started is they do... Extra math. Extra math. Extra math is a free program online that um, lets the girls solidify math skills that's all that it is it's addition subtraction multiplication and division um, skills and it works at their speed it advances as they advance as they get to know the answers it speeds up all those green are all the ones that Gabby knows at this level and all the yellow are the ones that she is learning I forgot all the ones that she forgot. I forgot over like Two oh. weeks? Christmas holidays. She's getting back into I it, right? I don't remember like uh, doing schoolwork like two weeks ago. Typically, the sick girl over there would be over here. Whoops. And where her computer is, and her blanket, and her headphones, and her horse cheering her on. At the end of each school day, I get this thing all set up and ready with all the things that they're going to need for the next day so that in the morning I can just whip everything out and set it beside them so they know what they need to do. Yesterday, the girls worked on writing a proper letter, learning about the heading, the salutation, the body, the closing, and the signature. This is Sophie's letter that she wrote, and this is her rough copy. Today, she was going to be writing her um, actual copy so we could mail it out, and she's sick, so she won't be doing that, but Gabby will be working on hers. Gabby has now moved on to the second computer part of her program. She does a variation of a program called Easy Peasy. It's a, also a free online program that um, goes from day to day and leads you through all the different subjects. A lot of it's American, so it doesn't really fit our lifestyle or our curriculum. So she does only approved things, things that I tell her, okay, you go ahead and do this and this, but the math part is pretty great. After she's done this, she'll do another program called K5 Learning. It's a paid program. Um, we pay for it by the year. We pay a price for two kids. It's a little bit discounted if you have an additional kid. So she'll do that. K5 Learning 
It's categorized by great and ability. So they did a, a test at the beginning, placed them where they needed to be, and they work up from there. Each segment is super tiny, so they're able to work through them and not feel stressed out. Um, at the end, I am able to print out worksheets to solidify the skills that they learned in the lesson today. So when I'm printing pages that the girls need for today um, to reinforce things that they've learned, I also print off papers that they need for tomorrow, things that I can get ready so that when they wake up in the morning they're all set to go. I also have these little shelves in my dining room and, and they're filled with all their workbooks. Oops, I often will use these books to supplement what they're learning as well. A lot of our homeschool day involves the girls doing independent work. I come and direct them and help them when they're having trouble, but a lot of our homeschool day is designed to help them learn how to learn on their own and how to teach themselves. We also have the part of the day that we're about to start now where I read to them and we study things like science and history and geography that we do together, we do little projects. After the girls are done their independent reading, they are free for the day, but they're kind of not free. So basically they finish around 11.30 in the morning or they finish around noon sometimes, depending on how much we do. Today we had a little bit less because Sophie was not um, at school today because she has been sick. So one of the ways that I keep my kids from having screen time is by engaging them in activities that um, will keep them occupied and that are good for them and that will help with the learning process. Um, making Rice crispy Squares. Measuring and cooking and temperature and all right, of those you things. You basically put it on high, but then when uh, it gets hotter, you put it on medium. Once the marshmallows start melting, then you put it on medium. So basically, Gabby's learning to cook and how to be responsible in the kitchen, all the things that I want her to learn that she might not be willing to learn if she could spend the whole day on her computer or on her iPad because she'd be preoccupied. Other things that we do as well are little activities. We do lots of crafting. We do, um, we, I have a bead set that the girls and I are gonna do together, just stuff like that that keep us connected as a family and um, I keep them busy without being attached to the screen. Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.